a myth that IVF is a painful procedure. Today I will show you how, how IVF is done. She is stimulated and her eggs are being seen and now we have painted draped the patient. The ovum pickup is not a procedure to be scared of. It is a procedure hardly of two minutes in which the anesthetist, the anesthesia person, they give full sedation to the patient so there is no pain. Now we, this is the probe from which we do the pickup. On this we have put a guider through which we, the needle is taken. Then we thoroughly clean the vagina. After cleaning the vagina, we put this guidel inside. This is the ovum pickup needle that is taken. We put it through the guidel like this and then we do the ovum pickup. So this is the process, the suction pump works and then the fluid is aspirated in the You can see the fluid coming out, so the follicular fluid is, fluid is coming out and in that it is containing the oocytes. So it is a pretty safe process and there is nothing to worry about. All the paramedical staffs are there, the nurse is there. This follicular fluid is handed over to the embryologist and then they do the screening of the oocytes. The anesthetist really makes you comfortable in the ovum pickup process and there is no thing that you are going to have any pain or anything. After that the whole the ovum pickup is done now. So we again do the cleaning of the patient, after the cleaning is done, then the patient is fit for shifting. So this is the only the ovum pickup process, a very short procedure and it is a daycare procedure and one need not be scared about it. Embryo transfer in that the patient is fully awake, no general anesthesia is given unless and until the patient is feels uncomfortable. The same way the painting draping is done for the patient. This is a small casco speculum that is put inside the patient. There is nothing to be scared about it. The pain will be as much as only when you have the introduction of the ultrasound probe. So this is put inside the vagina after it cleaning. This is the probe through which the ET is done. So now we see the uterus in the ultrasound machine. 
and subsequently the embryo transfer is done. The embryologist comes, he gives the embryo catheter. So, we take the outer cannula and then the inner cannula. I will just explain you. Now, the embryologist has given us this outer catheter. So, this is the first thing that is put inside. Through this, the embryos go, the inner catheter has to go. So, it is put inside the cuscos. We can see it in the ultrasound that the outer is when the outer crosses the internal os, we have already crossed, then we say that we are ready. So, now we say ready. So, this is the inner catheter, the embryologist has brought it and now we are putting the embryos inside. So, the now we will be putting inside. So, now the embryo is put inside. Now, we wait for 30 seconds minimum to take out the catheter. You can see this is a very small thing, it is a very minute thing, there is nothing to be scared about. So, now we give it to the embryologist, you see there is no blood on the outer and the inner, the embryologist takes it, then the embryologist rechecks it, whether all the embryos have been transferred or not. And you can very well see in the ultrasound also. So, we show it to the patient that the embryos have been transferred. So, this is the way we show to the patient. The patient is also very satisfied that the embryos have been put. So, it is a live procedure.